everyone, it's Mrs Sutton and I've got two helpers this morning. I've got Francis and I've got George and we are going to show you how to make some instruments you can use in your house to make some music. So here are some we've already made. This is our guitar. Can you demonstrate? Oh, it's probably a little louder. It's like it's on here. Um, we've got a rainmaker here. Shaper decorators. You can also, if you haven't got any of these things, you can make one out of a, a butter pot a shaker. And we've also got just a, a tin here which you can use to make a drum. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> right. So what do you need to make these instruments? You're going to have to have a little preparation time to get some of these things together. So what you will need to make your instruments, you will need some different fillings. So do you want to go for the fillings we've got, Francis? Pasta, rice, sunflower seeds, chickpeas and soup mix. Don't worry if you haven't got any of these in your house, you can use anything. So if you've just got pasta, use pasta. Or if you haven't got any of these, gather some little stones up from outside. We just looked at different things. Rice is nice because it's nice and quiet. You will also need some different types of containers. So we've got a little Pringles chip. Pringles, two cups. And I have a box. I have plastic bands. You need, if you're going to make a guitar, you'll need some rubber bands. Yeah. You'll yeah. need some paper. I don't need paper. To decorate our instruments. And I've already yeah. cut this to the right size. You'll need some felt tips. And some sort of tips. First thing we're going to have a go at making is a shaker and I've just got a little Pringles tube and what we did earlier is we cut some bits of paper and what you need to do is just to measure your paper and once you've decorated it, put it around your tin like so. So I've got these two making some pictures. I need some tape. If you've got some, um, we've got some stickers, do you want to put some pictures on that? Thank you George. Right, I'm going to fill mine up. This one's got some chickpeas in. And they're quite noisy. Yeah, really noisy. So this time I'm going to put some rice in this one. Yeah. Are you decorating this for me, George? Get on with it. Not too much. Put the lid on. It's a nicer sound if you don't like it too noisy. If you don't have a lid, you could just, what I've done before is I've just got a piece of paper. And we've just sellotaped the top with lots of sellotape on, so you don't have to have go out and buy a Pringles tube. You can just use a cup and put a, put a plastic, some sellotape on the top. So when we've got these decorated, can I just have that one? That's lovely, George. Don't forget to put something on the other side of the sticky tape. Otherwise, the one on the right. So what we're going to do is put this little picture on our instrument. Yeah. Hold it in place. This one's got rice and this one's got chickpeas. Do you want to show them how you play them? Do you play your instrument? And there you go, all of a sudden you've got a really good up. shape. The next instrument we're going to have a go at making is a guitar. And you just need any old box, a shoe box will do, or um, just an old, an, an, an old box. A post box. A post box. What well, I've got is just an old box that I'm lying around. And we've got some lovely decorations to the sides. We'll stick these on one at a time. The box looks really funky. And we'll put this one on this side. If you haven't got a tape, you can use Pritt stick to stick these down. Or masking tape, just see what you've got in the house, have a look. And to get the different sounds on the guitars, look for different size elastic bands, so get some small ones and big, big ones. elastic band. They're medium ones, just watch they don't ping on you. And what you do, you put them over, so the small ones, that's okay. That yeah. makes a nice loud high sound. And then we've got a big yeah. one here, yeah. yeah. Space them out evenly, and that's a lower one. another big one. Another big one this side. Yeah. Let's have one more. This one? A medium one, so it's a different sound pitch. 
You could put more on, six strings on a guitar. We've got how many there? Four, so let's put two more on. Oh, that one snapped. That wasn't a very good one. Snap, snap, snappy. Five. Snappy, last good time. Thank you, Francis. Six. Let's have a seven. listen. Okay. Oh, what each. Mm -hmm. See your guitars. If you want to, you could put a guitar bass on so you can play it. You can maybe get some pencils and stick it on the side or some cardboard. Or um, you sorry. could get a cardboard roll and stick it on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, or stop that. So there you go, there's your homemade guitar. guitar. Our last instrument is called, what's it, Francis? It's a rainmaker. A rainmaker. It makes a lovely sound. It sounds a bit like the ocean. You can use different things for this. I had two party cups left. So we're going to use these, but you could use a large Pringles tube, or um, if you've got a pop bottle, you can take the top off and put them both together. The tricky bit is sealing them up, and you have to put the filling in first. And I'm going to try some broth mix. I bet most mums will have, or carers will have some broth mix in the house. So don't put too much in. So that's got some big bits in, small bits in. And you've got to put the top on, and then you've got to sellotape around it. You need a lot of sellotape for this bit. It's probably easier with a Pringles tube if you've got one, but we didn't have one in the house. Let's put some sellotape on. And if you do make some instruments, I'd love you to put a video on so we can have a look at all your lovely homemade instruments. I'm doing this. My two little helpers are making some really nice decorations to go on the side. Lovely. Just a second, I'm nearly done. Just make sure it's sealed properly. We've got Hobbity Bush here. We've got Bing Bunny. Stick this on the side. Again, just get a piece of sellotape. And you're going to play these for me so we can hear what they sound like. I'll play this one. Yeah. Do you want to play this one? But like that old drum at school. Thank you. So here's our instrument in action. We've got our guitar, our drum and our shaker. And we're going to have fun playing them. If you're at home, it would be great if you could show us your instruments. You can play along to YouTube, to your mum singing, or to your brother singing, or to the radio. We're just going to play a little bit of music for you. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed our instrument workshop and we look forward to seeing your instrument.